What is going on everybody, Gary Davis here and welcome back to Restaurant Dash with Gordon Ramsay. Last time we celebrated our 100th episode with the final season of the Blue Nile Vegetarian Bistro. Today, we are on the very final venue, the Diner de los Muretos in Mexico. So I believe there may not be no more restaurants after this, but hopefully um, in the next couple of months we'll get another venue, but that might probably not be until... I won't, I won't com fully confirm year wave 7 until there's three venues at least, because I did three per venue. That was throughout September all the way to this month, so I bet it's kind of sad having to just end it on the final venue if, you, if you're expecting. But I'm just um, pointing out that um, even though that if we had a load of bit more venues, it means so much more. So. Anyway, on let's um, cut to the chase and open up Diner de los Muertos. Certainly, ship the f that one. Well, that was that smooth. Just unlocked our achievement, and our first reward is two fast feet. Very cool. Time to buy some new kits. I even have I even have an extra four prepped, and I've even got two more on prep. The one's going to take about thirty minutes to prep, and the other one's going to take forty minutes. Let's see if there's anything related in Diner de los Muertos. See if we can. Um, Complete some specific achievements. Oh, yeah, we got perfectly seasoned food a hundred times. I don't know if we can. Oh, we can use the fast beat 15 times again. This is probably gonna. This is probably like leading up to the. Um, to the end point for restaurant dash. Before we make a, make a start on um, this venue, let's just see if there's anything. No, there's nothing for recommended for upgrade. Surely there's nothing recommended because he just started this. So once again, and for the last time, I think we'll use uh, another prep slot, and we'll start off with using fast feet only, because I believe that's part of the achievement list. Earn um, one coins. Wow, just wow. But I want to use the fast feet anyway because you know I'm doing it for the achievement. You know. Hi, I'm Chef Gordon Ramsay, and this is Rising Star Chefs. To be honest, I feel this music is kind of very um, snazzy. Come to think of Mexico food in the Dilo Muretos, celebrating a live at night of a living dead. This was recently released back in October of last year, so I think yeah, let's let's I better quit my babbling and start cooking because the first dish is the atoll. Very fond of this game to use a drink before an actual bit of food, but hey, at least we get something cool to prep. This customer wants the new menu item. Grab some corn or sweet corn, as I prefer to call it. Grind it. Grab it. Serve. I believe all this will be easy to serve. Wait, what was that? I think I heard some kind of skeleton laughing. I really hope it's not. I, I'm not hearing things, or I'm probably just proving that it's real, when in reality, it's not. Oh, sweet. This music's beautiful. I love it. If I did an MP3 of this, I'd probably release it digitally on iTunes, or probably on YouTube first, because I believe they're like royalty free or something. Oh right, it was just the music. Okay. Anyway, let's go. I might record full music pieces shortly after this gameplay so that I can try and this upload the game's music. Insane. If I can, that is. In like its full potential. Wake up because of the VIP just sat down. There's only like three yes. customers left to serve because each and every service in the first season of each venue seems to go quite quickly and very productive, if, Fantastic. if you know what I mean. Anyway. Nice customers sat down. Perfect. I'm on fire. All customers have been served and Super Gordon has been triggered despite there are no customers left. That's probably going to be like one of the best things I've ever done on Restaurant Dash. Use Super Gordon when it was not necessary when all customers have been served. 
Oh, here we go. The sweet corn's recommended. And so is the carpet. And so is the counter. But we need 2,600 coins. But at least I'm okay on funds right now. Anyway. This time I am... How many carry fours do I have? Two. This time I'll use a fast feet and a carry four. I'll be prepping fast feet boosts time and time again so that I can um, do it in process of the achievement. Still making that at all, huh? You're feeling okay, light maybe if, it, if that's the way it has to be, then I'll have to do it. Because that's the Wake only dish I can prep right VIP now. Oh, hang on, we got the Mandy Warlow VIP here. And, um, I don't know, Ben Shepherd? Oh wait, that's Tipping Point. Not, not a Shepherd's Pie one. I just forgotten the VIP's That's name. I'm done. probably gonna have to look at. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to look at that. Wake up! I know that the, uh, are coming. the VIP's dish is a shepherd's pie, Amazing. which was introduced in Jalis and Chips, which was released back in July 2016. Brilliant. Right. There's some stuff Last I might want to talk down. about in this venue um, later on today, if I get the chance. Not ready yet. Gordon, Gordon, Gordon. How many what times must I tell you? I know that that dish is not ready yet, but Stunning I'm just a bit service. persistent in serving the customers. Nicely done. Getting closer to upgrading the counter. Now, when does the seasoning unlock? The seasoning unlocks in Season 2, Episode 6, so we won't be doing any seasoning until tomorrow. Go back to the Carry 4 and the Fast Feet because they're the next two boosters once again. I've got one more Carry 4, but I have to rely on the Order Flinger because I've got six of them. This is new. Oh, the Pumpkin Tamal. We're making tamales now. So this is amazing, so, um... You know, see how it's done. This customer wants this new item on the menu. Grab some pumpkin. Wrap it. Wait, didn't we see pumpkin before? Grab it. Steam it. Grab it. Serve. Yeah, I'm not sure we remember using pumpkin before. But I'll let myself know if I'm wrong or not, because pumpkin is probably something to do with a, with a certain restaurant I may be familiar Good in work. doing. Or maybe not. I don't know. I might actually try and revisit some of the venues I've done in the past, see if I can recall using pumpkin. Check me out serving all this burgundy food. Seriously, great job. And I'm super fast at it. I can go like 180 mile per hour. Or 88 mile per hour, that is. Swipe to collect. Hmm. Seconds left. I am all powerful. Oh, custom sir. And with 24 seconds to spare, we managed to get another three stars. In fact, getting three stars is probably one of the most easiest things to do when you start a new venue. Nicely done. And if I'm not mistaken, we are almost done with one of our achievements, but it may take a while because I've only started that before recording. Back again to the counter, which needs which is 2600 coins in cost. So going back to oh we now got the fast beat and the order finger. We've only got four uh, we've got um, three fast beats left, so I might need to prep more, even though I got a couple more prep. 
Welcome back. Lots of work to do. Let's get to it. You're feeling amazingly light on your feet. But I need to say, to be honest, um, I've been hard at work for the past, um, past six months. Because I believe it's been like six months since I first played Restaurant Bash on YouTube again. Ever since I had that long hiatus back in, uh, had that long, the long suspension of cancellation in January 20, in February last year, when I failed part 54, which was, um, season two of mm. um, the Pong Team Pool Party. Eventually, it was fully uploaded with no problems in December of last year when I started Wave 4. And I'm very, very lucky that time because I've been using a more improved device, which is my iPod, <coughs> iPod Touch 6th generation. Other than that old nice. iPod you and uh, iPad model, that was so outdated. Seriously? And it was Wait, no, yeah. and it was, and it was, and it was useless to hold and to handle. Step it up as a VIP. Even though that uh, VIP, my iPod may have been small, but I can still manage there. it in a sophisticated way. So that VIP. Wow. Nice What are you waiting for? I know, Gordon. I was just um, waiting for the next customer. Oh, this fire doesn't hurt. Okay, maybe I guess we didn't have that other VIP, but at least I got additional fame for it. Bloody good. Still recommended to counter. Halfway through season one already, and it's only the opening season, and uh, we're doing fine. We've got two fast beams, so we need. So I think I might need to get another six ready on prep, ready for tomorrow. This season's menu oh, is about more on. refined, more adventurous cuisine. Let's see if this new menu item helps or confuses our customers. Oh, what do we get now? I bet it's something amazing. The candied mango. So now we're adding sugar, spice, and everything nice. These were, were, these were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little mango. But Gang accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction, baking it in the oven. Thus, the candied mango was was um, cooked. Using its ultra suit and super tasting skills, I have dedicated my life to become a rising star chef. After 101 episodes. I mean, the final part is um, next week, is this Thursday anyway. Wants the new menu item. Grab some mango. Add sugar. Grab it. Bake it. Grab it. Serve. I'm glad Gordon's seeing um, grab it, like, uh, unlike the other two venues, because it had been rather silent without him saying that. Still, good it job. makes me feel the uh, producers have done a good job on some of them. You. Perfect. I'm going to continue to prep as much dishes as I need Watch to. Watch out! Step it up, as a VIP just sat down. Well done. Amazing. Tap that, because there's no point swiping if there's no more customers wanting to eat there. Wow, you're on fire. Wow, nice toss. Fantastic. I think I'll use Super Gordon on the last few customers. Last customers sat down. I can do no wrong! Wait, did I just get a bit of gold from that VIP? Might as well check the results screen once I get, uh, get to the uh, star calculations.
great. Oh, I did. Sugar station is recommended, but we need 3,000 coins. Now, this is our last fast feed, so I think I might need to uh, prep, uh, prep some more once it comes to the end of this recording. Even though I got some on prep, I'll check how much time's left when we get to Great. The, uh, before Let's we begin, cooking, the, yes? begin the next level. You're feeling amazingly light on your feet. Increase the speed Step of eating. Oh wait, I think I might have prepped that a bit too soon. Yes. Or too Excellent. soon, perhaps? Because I know that Damien's asked for it with his trusty dog Ginger. You're on fire. Well done. And I like to set those together. As I, like I said in the last menu, I like to do this serving together as entrees. Wake up! More customers are coming. More Brilliant. Then, please. Right, last customer set. Here I go. <laughs> Well, that saves me the trouble of using my hands Terrific. to use Super Just Gordon, great. because I know that finishes the job. Nicely done. There is something I can do by um, getting some more money because I've really got to upgrade that sugar station. Maybe uh, sell the free range chicken and sell all three Angus beef since I got most of them in the rare ingredients section. I probably won't need them until um, the end of the wave, which is I might um, serve the uh, Wishland inspectors. That will be part uh, until part 106, which is the final part of this wave and possibly the final part of this gameplay. And now we're introduced to the Calabaza Intaka. What does that even mean? This customer wants this new item on the menu. Grab some pumpkin. Add sugar. Grab it. Bake it. Grab it. Serve. Oh yeah, I think I remember what, what, what I've been thinking about now. There's something else that's related to um, The Living Dead. There was a film I remember seeing a couple weeks back, and um, it got me thinking of the film Coco. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen the film Coco, another one of Disney Pixar's films. I've seen it, and I personally have. I do feel it is absolutely amazing. Um, Pixar is like one of my legendary favourite film companies. Let me know in comments below if Careful. you've seen it and what do you think of it? Is it good? Is it bad? Or do you think, uh, or have you not seen it? Because I love it so much. Then, um, if um, you haven't seen it, then, then I recommend you check it out. Wow. If it's not on You're DVD, fire. you're in luck. If it's not, then you probably might want to look at it online, or maybe wait a couple of months, uh, a couple of months to to get it. Now, if you live in the United in the United States, they release quickly on DVD shortly after the cinema. Sometimes, if, if for those who live in the UK, they um, sometimes stunning. go on the and they go on Sky Store or um, nice. You're in the zone. Like Sky Cinema, because that's probably one of the uh, one of the wow. best things to do. You're check fire. out your uh, no, check out your TV listings. <laughs> But not always, they don't. Mm. 
Okay, listen up. Last customers, sat down. Gaining momentum. There you go, all customers served. Keep it up because you're good. Great. And the sugar's still the command. Better go check in the farm market. See if anything's been sold. Angus beef and the three day chicken have both been sold. Now I'll sell the mascarpone. Seeing as if um I've now got most of them too. Now it's time to upgrade the sugar station. By one. And the ovens oven two is recommended. So I think I might deal with that later on. And we are almost done with our earned coins achievement, and that means we might check what's inside the daily gold box, too. Because I, for one, really want to see what, what we get tonight. Step it up. There's a VIP in the restaurant. Oh great, we get a bit of gold from our faithful VIP. So I think I might want to pick that up once I've um, swiped all the payments. Watch it, don't or ruin the food. All of them. Once again, I think I might set those together because I know that they're also on tray. Brilliant. Before you know it, Super Gordon will be active, so we have to make sure. Fantastic. We up the fl Oh, never mind. We just activated Super Gordon. We just um, we just um, set Super Gordon on fire. Hot, just fire on hot. Three customers left. Hmm. Wake up because of the VIP just sat down. Right, last customer sat down. <clears throat> Perfect. One dish is nearly ready, and now it is ready to be served. Wow, you're on and fire. That's that level done. <laughs> Keep it up because you're good. Good job. On to the next one. And we've done it. We've nice got our done. daily gold mystery box. So let's see what's inside. The achievement is good reward, that's one bit of gold. Sweet. But we've only got five supplies, so we can't really do any Oh, we've got um the auto chef. Kalaka the skeleton. Celebrate life and death with Kalaka the Skeleton. He'll make Atoll and Champorado drinks for you and wrap your towels too. Sweet. Can't wait to try him out, but I can't do that unless I get more supplies, so... Also, I meant to check the farm market as well, because I need to check if my mask ponies, but yep, it's been sold. Now I've got to try and sell some goods in the market. I'll sell the un sell five onion because I've got eleven of them, and I think I'll sell the carrot. So now we've got twenty six items in our storage. 
and the fast feed is almost ready. So I think I might use it again one more time as soon as it's done. And we'll pick up some profits. I'll check. I'll have to watch for storage counts. I've got 10 sugars, so I think I might get rid of 5 of them. What's the second I have most in? The carrot. I know that will sell quicker, more quickly, so I think I might sell that. That's all the profits. I think I'll jump into the social hub and pick up some daily hearts and also 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 to get some more um, supplies. Okay, so there's two levels I have to do, so I think I might pick up two reward boxes. Eight. Eighteen. So we should be okay. We've got 25 supplies. There's only five minutes of crep on the fast feed, so we'll use one more order flame growth until the- Oh, I forgot to upgrade the oven, but I think I'll deal with that later. Probably after this level. Oh, free trial on Kalaka the Skeleton, sweet! So that means we're gonna see what this baby can do. Right, welcome back. Lots of work to do. Let's go for it. And, first customer? I <laughs> just like to do that. Just um, put random dishes on the prep awesome. station, it, despite the fact we've got an auto chef that can do that. They do all the dirty work for us. Jeez, how many customers want to say? It's like we're having a family in here. Oops, didn't mean to pick up a mango. I was actually meant to pick up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? What am I doing? Why did I throw that out? Must be a way to get fast service. If only I, I upgraded the oven right Watch now, it. so that I can don't ruin um, the food. Amazing. So I can get this over quickly. Gaining momentum. Okay, it's half full. As for Damien's dish, I might do that together, but I think I might do that shortly after serving the, um, the serving van this dish immediately. Because that's for the middle customer. Absolutely stunning. This episode is over. In three. Two, one, stop. Time. That's a lot of Couldn't serve all the customers though. Trust me, you've got talent. Hopefully you will in the next one because I don't know if I'll be able to get the um, fast feet now. I don't know if five minutes has really passed. Great. Done and done. The oven's been upgraded. And again, we're back to the counter but we're Almost. We are close enough to put on gold, though. 
Two minutes left until the um, first feet's ready. Why wait? I think I'm going to speed it up and collect it. And I'll prep another one right now. Now I've got eight bits of gold. So let's go back. Down to the little materials. Season 1, episode 10. Concluding now with our fast feet. See if we can um, do it one more time for a bit of an achievement. You're feeling amazingly light on your feet. And hopefully we can up the um, okay, fast feet count tomorrow go. to an First even eight, customer. to an even seven. Not just uh, an, an even eight. So I have a possibility to complete it as quickly as possible. Good work. Are you kidding me? Slow dishes, aren't they? Oh, show them. Mm. Seriously, great job. I'm going to serve those two together. Well done. Wow, you're on fire. Here we go. This was only just to save Fantastic. time. Fantastic. This customer wants the same. Ugh, same twin related dishes, okay? Why does it always have to be this way? Thirty seconds left. Oops. Lost the grip on my iPod on iPod again. It's always so slippery, you see. It's been slippery ever since I first got it. I try not to lose the signal though. Nice, you're in the zone. I might grab this um, Corsal Calzone because right. I believe... Last um... step down. Perfect. There you go. There you go. Did it. Yeah. Season Brilliant 1 job. done of Dina de los Muertos. What a start. And with that, we close our season. Brilliant job. It was a brilliant job, if I say so myself, Gordon. But I think I'll pick up two gold well deserved, from chef. my achievement that you awarded me. And the sugar's recommended, but we are short on coins. I might purchase some more funds later on, so... Season complete. Yeah, there you go. It's over for... Come on! What is wrong with this check connection thing? It's getting really redundant, isn't it? So anyway, that's it for tonight. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. We've got some awesome content from Gabriel's headquarters. Don't forget to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, my blog, which are all in the links in the description below. Don't forget to check out, check out Dave Madsen for his awesome content, because this series is for Dave Madsen, and always will be. And, um... Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of Dana de Lomaritos? Is it good, is it bad, or um, haven't you tried it yet? I'm thinking it's going to be really exciting. Despite all the hard dishes we're going to serve, it's going to be like the biggest conclusion to the gameplay and the wave. So, um, yeah, and also, just um, as I asked earlier, what do you think of the film Coco? Is it good, is it bad, or have you not seen it yet? Because I said it was good. If you, if you, if you want to give, if you haven't seen it, then I recommend you go see it in the cinema or on DVD if it's um, actually available. Because, um, yeah, it's actually a great film. I even watched it in the cinema and I had a really good experience with um, you know, the Pixar films over the years. Because, like I said, Pixar is like one of my legendary favourite movie companies. I did a load of stunning films like Toy Story and all that. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Thank you for watching. Happy gaming. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.